In this video, we're going to take a more in-depth look at the note and chord mode on the new Launchpad Pro. Note mode on the Launchpad Pro has three different modes, chromatic, scale, and drum. The default mode is chromatic mode, unless you're using Ableton Live and you have a drum rack loaded onto the selected track. In this instance, you'll be in drum mode, and you'll see the drum rack represented on the grid like so. In chromatic mode, the pink pads represent the root note of the currently selected scale, like C minor for example. The blue pads represent the notes in that scale. And the unlit pads represent the notes outside of the currently selected scale. You can change the currently selected scale in the note mode settings, which you can view by holding shift and pressing note. Use the scale viewer to choose a root note, with this bottom row representing the white notes on a piano keyboard, and the row above representing the black notes on a piano keyboard. You can then use these 16 dark blue pads to select a scale type, for example major or minor. The scale that you select here is shared across the note chord and sequencer mode. Press note again to return to the chromatic note view. Now if you want to hide the notes that are outside of your currently selected scale, return to the note mode settings and turn on the scale mode by pressing the red pad in the top right of the grid. Press note to exit the settings and the Launchpad Pro will now only display notes in the currently selected scale. This allows you to play freely without ever going out of key. Let's return to the note mode settings one last time and clarify the rest of the options. The first five pads in the top row represent overlap. This changes the way that the notes are laid out on the grid and allows you to make different chords with the same shape on the grid. The bottom two rows of pads allow you to determine which MIDI channel the note mode is transmitting on, from one to eight on the top row and nine to 16 on the bottom row. Press note to return to the note view. The up and down navigational buttons allow you to move up and down octaves. And the left and right navigational buttons allow you to change the root note of the currently selected scale by one semitone or a half step at a time. Pressing both of the navigational buttons at the same time resets them to their default state. Chord mode is designed for you to easily explore, build, save and play complex chords straight from the grid and quickly find new harmonies. I'll show you a few ways to use this powerful new mode and then I'll explain some of the music theory behind the layout which you can stick around for if you're interested. Here you have a selection of notes in your chosen key. You can play the selected scale running up the first column. You can play the triads or the main chords in your selected key using these orange pads. These chords are inverted or structured so that the notes stay within the same octave so that they sound coherent when they're used together. You can play the first three notes in any of these colored rows to create a triad, which is a simple three note chord. The color of the row indicates what type of triad this will create, which we'll cover in the music theory section later in this video. You can also play any three notes in these colored rows to create a great sounding chord. and the last two notes in each row will allow you to further layer up your chord. These shapes would be very difficult to play this quickly on a keyboard and almost impossible without an understanding of music theory, which isn't required when using the Launchpad Pro.
you can sustain your chords and notes using the sustain pad, which behaves very similarly to the sustain pedal on a piano. You're able to create and save your own complex chords using the 14 slot chord bank on the right hand side of the grid. To save a chord in the chord bank, you can either hold down the chord and then press on one of the 14 empty chord slots or vice versa. You can hold down an empty chord slot and then play the chord. You'll see that the chord slot turns white to indicate that it's got a chord saved into it. To add or remove notes from this chord, hold down the chord slot and press on the red notes to remove notes, or press any other notes that you want to add to the chord. A chord is able to hold up to eight notes. Now, however, a potential issue arises. If we want to play one of our saved chords and play melodies over the top, we're going to be adding and removing notes from the chord as we play, which isn't what we want. The solution to this is chord lock, which you can switch on and off using the pad in the bottom right of the grid. With chord lock enabled, you're no longer able to add or remove notes from a chord, so you can play freely over the top of the chords that you've created. Simply turn chord lock off if you want to modify your chords again. You can shift up and down octaves, using the arrows on the left-hand side of the launch pad. And if you're using Ableton Live, then you still have access to certain functions like the track select buttons, the mixer, production functions like undo and redo, and transport control. Now let's look at the music theory underpinning this chord mode. If you don't need to know this, then you can progress on from this video. You'll remember that running up the first column, you have the notes in the currently selected scale. We're in C minor, so this is the scale of C minor. Running across the rows, the first three notes create a chord and the colour of that row tells you whether the triad will be major, minor, or a different chord type. For instance, a diminished chord, a suspended chord, or an augmented chord. Purple rows represent major, lilac rows represent minor, and green rows represent other chord types, in this instance, diminished. Adding the fourth note in the row will make the chord a seventh chord, And the fifth note in the row adds a compound fifth, which is the fifth note of the scale in the octave above. Let's break down the notes in the row using the example of the C minor chord. Here we have the root, which is C. We have the fifth, which is G, which we can see if we run up the scale to the fifth note. We then have the compound third, which is E flat in the next octave up. We have the seventh, which is B flat, which we can see if we run up the scale. And we have the compound fifth, which is G in the next octave up. If you'd like to view more in-depth Launchpad Pro tutorials, you can do so using the button below. If you've got everything that you need to get up and running with your Launchpad, then that's great. Let us know and we'll show you the next steps.